Hi everyone, welcome back to another full OLO Made Easy video. Today we'll be going through the fish shaped cases. So starting off with what is a fish shaped case. So as the name suggests, it kind of looks like a fish. Otherwise you can think of it as having two adjacent edges oriented and the corner across from the two adjacent edges are also oriented. So this is classified as a fish shaped case. Uh, this one is also a fish shaped case. So this corner does not have to be oriented, but in this case it is. But either way, both of these are fish shaped cases. So starting off with these fish shaped cases, these will be the ones without that final corner that's oriented. Uh, these two cases are actually mirror images of each other. So let's start with the right handed case, which is this one here. So to recognize this as the right handed case, you want to look around the sides for this two by one bar here. Now with these fish shaped cases, you always want to hold these two by one bars at the back. So not at the side, at the back like this so that it's facing the back side. Next up, you want to look at the front and look for the yellow corner at the front. Because this yellow corner is on the right side, that should remind you that this is the right handed version of the case. Now the algorithm may seem a bit long, but it can be broken down into very small parts that are very easy to remember. So for this algorithm, I like to focus on this F2L pair on the front right corner. So you want to start off by taking this F2L pair out like this and moving it into the back position here. Now you want to do a sledgehammer on this corner on the right side like this. Finally, you want to insert this F2L pair back into its slot with a U2. So that can be done like this. And that solves that OLO case. Alright, so moving on to the next fish shaped case. For this one, once again, it's got the case where the single corner here is not oriented. So it is actually the mirror image of the previous case. So once again, you want to look on the sides for the two by one bar. And once again, we want to hold this at the back. So like this. So now that the two by one bar is facing the back, we want to look back to the front and look for the yellow corner facing the front. In this case, it's on the left side, which should remind you that you want to use the left handed algorithm for it. And so the algorithm is actually the exact same one as the previous one, just mirrored for your left hand. So once again, you want to track the F2 pair. This time you want to track the front left pair here. So it starts off by once again, moving the F2 pair out moving it all the way to the back position here, do a lefty sledge, and finally inserting this F2 pair back into the slot using a U2 insert like this. And as always, if you don't like using your left hand for these OLO algorithms, I will show you an alternative algorithm you can use, which is done with your right hand. So same case as previously. So once again, two by one bar at the back, it is the left handed algorithm because the yellow color at the front here is on the left side. If you did want to use an alternative right handed algorithm for this case, then you actually want to hold it like this. So the two by one bar at the front, or you can think of it as your case, but mirrored from the back angle. So this algorithm actually looks quite similar to the start of a T perm. It does end off differently, uh, but the first few moves are very similar. So it starts off with a sexy move like this. Following that, you got the R prime F R two. Now you want to do a U R prime U prime, and then you finally end off with an F prime like that. So the third case for this video will be this fish shaped case here. So this case differs from the previous cases in that there's one extra corner that is oriented on the top layer. Otherwise, you can recognize it as having two of these two by one bars on the sides here. So when you get this case, you want to hold it so that one of the two by one bars is facing you and the other two by one bar is facing the right side. Otherwise, you can recognize it as having the single corner over here 
on the front right corner. Either way of remembering it is fine. Uh, this will be how you want to hold it before you do the algorithm. So the algorithm for this case is actually nice and short and it's quite easy to remember. So it starts off with what's called an inverse sledge. So it goes something like this. And next up, it follows up with an inverse sexy. Otherwise, you can just remember it as inserting this F2 pair into this slot as if it was just a regular F2 pair. So just like this. And that solves that OLO case. The final OLO case I'll be going through in this video would be this one here. So similar to the previous case, it's also got that additional corner that's oriented. But the big difference is that there are no 2x1 bars or any bars for that matter around the side. So for this OLO case, we actually want to hold the sort of square shape, the 2x2 two two square of yellow at the front right corner. So as I'm holding it right now. Now from here, once again, the algorithm is quite easy to remember if you break it up into smaller sections. So the algorithm starts off by moving this F2 pair into the back position here like this. Once it's in that position, you can go straight into an R2 into a sledgehammer like this. And then finally, you just want to insert this F2 pair into the front with a U2 move like this. And that solves that OLO case. All right, guys, that's it for this OLO made easy video. Like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. And if you have any questions about anything in this video, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.